Hello, welcome everyone to the 20th ever Offline TV Podcast. I am your host, This Guy's Toast, and today we are joined by Scara Pokey and Michael Reeves. And I'm also happy to announce that today's podcast is sponsored by Postmates. We're going three weeks in a row with sponsorship. Offline TV is making waves. And you guys know what Postmates is. It's, it's the app you use for when you're too lazy to cook food or if you're just terrible at cooking. Uh, so the app every single one of us uses every single day. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, we ordered locally today from a local cafe shop. Can you guys show it off? Pokey mm-hmm. got some rice cake kimchi looking things. Scar got some egg fried rice. And Michael, what you get? We got the food of my people. We got musubis and small. <laughs> musubis. <laughs> Spam musubis. He orders those like 20 at a time. Yes. And then he starts handing it out to people. Like, exactly. Musubi? It is really musubi? nice. Uh, you can use promo code offline TV 100 for $100 in delivery credit for your first seven days. Thank you very much, Postmates. All right, let's jump into the podcast. As usual, the lovely Sean has prepared us some random ass topics to talk about. And um, let's start with uh, one that a lot of people... Have you guys been getting messages or DMs about people wanting to join offline TV recently? I don't check my messages. (laughs) (laughs) But Scara has told me that he does. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna literally check my messages right now. Okay, I'm not shared this. Okay, <laughs> first one, Scar, I've been a big fan. Uh, we're holding a Minecraft graduation for a friend. I was wondering if you could be our guest speaker. Same shit. That's, <laughs> what I was That's so cute. Going for. Uh, okay, in my first ten, I have three people who want to be owned. Then this guy has just asked. No, this guy's asked to be owned since April second, and he he's apparently spamming me multiple times a week about it. That sounds very um, BDSM-y, you know? I don't know yeah. if the word is for that. Yeah. I feel <laughs> just not like a why. People, that's how I know I feel like we're getting more popular because people just keep giving me more messages. And I'm just Aww. like, this is really weird. Yeah. Like, I'm checking my, like, open DMs. is like, hey, I'm trying to get into streaming. I only get three viewers. Another one. I only, I'm a one viewer. Andy, I've been on the grind for a while. Uh, I'm Asian and I'm a streamer. Let me into offline TV. Oh, those are funny. <laughs> oh. All right. So uh, one of Sean's topic is if you could fabricate any person, like if you can like science and grow a person in the lab to join oh. offline TV, like what kind of person would you fabricate? So question, let's, let's go through the, the demographics, male or female? Female. Mm-hmm. Like female. it would be nice. Female. Michael, oh, you mean to male or female? Just even the score a little bit. Yeah, I think I you agree. even it out. Yes. I, agree. <laughs> I, I mean, and not for any other reason whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like isn't two girls enough already for a streamer content group? I mean, like, I'm all for equality for the record. I actually don't have a strong preference in terms of gender. It would be cool, but yeah. Look. I feel bad because we can be like, dude, it's time for the boys. Let's go. <laughs> and then we're like, oh, oh, oh. and then like, like, and then, like wait, but think like, of it girl. this way. Mm, yeah. Business perspective. If we have another girl that adds more shipping potential. Mm. We've run out of ships anyway, so. No, we've run out of straight ships. <laughs> <laughs> right here, right. That's a good arc. <laughs> Mm, just, just that is true if we add a girl there will be sexual tension mm-hmm, as mm-hmm. there always is fabricated or not yeah I, I don't know girl girl don't you think two girls were already hitting all the demographic <laughs> we have no? cool non-asian girl and you know kawaii asian girl that's like the majority <laughs> of girls on the internet from my experience what, the fuck? what demographic of girls are we not hitting with <laughs> there's those- more guys? in non-asian yeah yeah, yeah. i agree with, I, I agree with michael what what about the guy demographic? Yeah, what about the guys we just hit, yeah y'all are really guys? missing there yeah we just hit asian and like half mexican half Filipino. <laughs> yeah i got a filipino <laughs> as well they're 
Thank you, Philippines. Mm. I think we need some people of color in offline TV. All right, next the category race. Look, all races are equal. I, yes. let, we're we're going to put that out there right now. Absolutely. All races are equal. But it's but really unlikely. We have not been equal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very unlikely to pick up another Asian person. Not that we're whoa, against whoa, Asian. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I. I struggled with affirmative action in college, okay? You're telling me we're going all the way back to that for offline TV. Was that really a thing in your college? I don't recall that being much of a thing in Canada, though. I could be wrong. It was, it's a thing. It's a thing. Do they tell you? <laughs> no, but, but you know. You know. Ah, uh, you, know. you just know. There's a quota. You get rejected and you yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, you just like, like, there's a quota, you know? There has to be like so-and-so. So, uh, we hit our Asian quota for the month. I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. But it works both like ways, month. right? They might be like, oh, we don't have enough Asians. We don't want to sound racist, so we let more people True. In. True, true, true. That's also true. But the, the places I applied to had too many Asians, actually. I think that is a problem in a lot of colleges. Yeah, a lot of colleges. Will... I read that controversy a couple years ago about that. Wait, what really? happened? Where, where they were like making it... It was harder for Asians to get into the college because there were already so many Asians in the college. Even if their GPAs were like better than others, other races, they were filling out the demographics. Some people argued it was fair. Some people argued it was... But how did they know it was because of the Asian-ness? I think, they, they, I think it came out that that was the reason. Maybe they compared GPAs <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with yeah. others that got in. <laughs> oh, okay. So in this scenario, we're Harvard. It's like, bro, too much Adrian. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Fill something else out. Like, who, uh, who's the most unique? Who's Okay. We have Fed and Pokey are like our, our non-Asian category. Yeah, Michael's more. Michael's and fifty fifty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, fifty fifty. And but, but, teams even count as Asia. Yeah, but, look, when uh, people say like Mexico, yeah. Like, <laughs> when people say Asian, they just mean Japan, China, and Korea. Okay, like that's <laughs> realistically, I know like Asian. When people like want to describe an Indian, for example, they will say Indian. They never call it Indians. Oh, that's an Asian guy. I think Indo Indians is different specifically from any other Asians, like area, right? Yes. Isn't it like, because like, they have like a, like a, like a large, is it like a, it's not a continent, but it's like, oh wait, is it? India is not a continent, it, no. It is not a continent, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. We're going real racist. This it's really not are. racist. I realize. But like society... When you like when society or pop culture they see an Indian guy, they never go, "Oh, he's an Asian person." They usually go, "Oh, he's Indian." But when they see a yellow guy, it's like, "Oh, hey, he's Asian," kind of deal. Yellow Even they're That's both awesome. considered Asian. Fair, okay. Um, Where are you going with this? In terms of race, though, what kind of race do you guys want for offline TV? <laughs> Look, we're we're the scientists. We're playing God here. I don't see color. <laughs> Uh, okay now but for real like and you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like it's like it is attractive to have more diversity in the group i think that's a really nice thing within any sort of forward-facing yeah. group or sometimes even not forward-facing just in general yeah. um but i also feel like content and personality trumps all like if someone is that great we really don't give a shit uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yes. This is a good example. Like, we never expected to have Michael in the group, right? And then, like, all of a sudden, yeah. like, he just showed up out of nowhere and was like, Yeah, I'm ready to move in. I was like, And it was like, oh, We're kind of down. He's like, I'm kind of down. We were like, Okay, I guess yeah. this just happened. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Together. No, uh -huh. it, it actually happened so quick. I got whiplash. I was like, Wait, he's <laughs> in here? Oh, he's in. I'm like, like, Yeah, what? I'm sleeping what? on a cardboard bed and toast soldier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and at no point did we sit down and go, but he's half Asian, though, <laughs> right? Wait, you sure? Ben uh, brought it up. Yeah, yeah, so wait, up. Ben brought it up? I didn't tell ben him to bring it up. I remember this. He came out to dinner at, at, uh, at court. It's very nice. I was like, and I kind of knew he was going to ask something like that. And he was like, dude, I'm so glad you're excited about it. Uh, it'll be really nice. Like, you know, and you know, we got, you know, like a lot of Asian people in the group. So it'll be nice to have someone who's like not. And I was yeah. like, Man, sorry to spoil it for you. That's <laughs> so funny. 
<laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's it's like Grace is like at the bottom bottom tier, and I, I feel like for judging someone based on their race, whether or not to let them in, chances are they aren't like we're not that ha- like. Hey, let's get him in. Oh, but your race still kind of deal. Like, I don't think we will yeah. ever reach a point where we seriously consider race to be anything significant. But it's just we nice just, to mm-hmm. have some representation. Yeah. Um, that being said, uh, if I had a choice, probably black. <laughs> For me, it's like anything that we don't already have would be nice. Which would be black. a preference, but not a necessity. Wait, do people know? That Toast we- really wants yeah. a black guy to join offline TV. Oh, black you're girl. You're going to regret oh, saying girl. this because you're going to get so many DMs. It's going to be insane. That's actually true. Wait. Insane. Did folks know about like our, like, oh, we, when we first like were looking for people to join, like there was a, um, I think it was a fighting game player. I think we reached out to someone and asked them if they're mm-hmm. interested to stay mm-hmm. in OTV. I actually think I remember mm-hmm. the name. Do you remember, Pokey? I might, but I would need I, to hear it. <laughs> I think it was Anti. We reached out about him, like, trying Oh, I out. don't remember that, actually. I think it was it's him. He was, like, I like him, though. Yeah, I said it was he, but he's, I think he responded that he couldn't because he's, like, not even in the house. Like, he fucking is out. <gasps> oh, and, like, wait, no, yeah, I do remember. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, like, because that was someone, like, this has been a pro not a problem per se, but something that people have brought up here and there. And we're like, okay, okay, we can try out this person. I thought it was really cool. Give him like, you know, a two week trial period and see what happens. Mm-hmm. I think aside from him, there was haven't been that many prospective people, you know? But mm-hmm. it's mainly because our our viewers are all Asian, actually. Like a lot of them were Asian. Like I would love to see my demographic see that back that that's back. Part of the problem. Yeah. I think um <laughs> we got it, we got it. Girl, black. Next. Next. Time. Yeah, I, I think um I'm a lumptuous <laughs> person? Is that what you're gonna say? I wanna say black, but like I keep saying it and the more I say it, I, I don't I know I'm not saying anything like offensive, but at the same you're time, just worried. yeah, it's like maybe I should stop saying black so much. But I think a black individual, like I think, person of color is a better term. Person of color mm-hmm. will like hit a lot demographic we don't hit, and also just like the cultural difference would be pretty high and would be pretty like eye opening because like you know the the comedy style, like they're like you know just like how hype they get. It's not something we see a lot in our friend group. Like our friend group is like super self-deprecating, super sarcastic kind of deal. <laughs> yeah. Like very strategy oriented gamers. Whereas, um, you know, FPS gamers, FPS game, but... fighting game, they're like, they get, they get like hyped up. But we're like, oh, no, you know, wholesome League of Legends kind of fun. So I think it would be really cool. Um, any particular genre? I think we don't want like, another league twitch streamer kind of deal yeah, I'm it's just sorry. too saturated we got enough of those i i left you know i went to another thing because we had we had too many you know yeah but like would you prefer someone like an fps or a gamer or a youtuber like michael hits the youtuber check mark really well mm. check mark i actually <laughs> wouldn't find another youtuber yeah mm-hmm. i think we have a lot of top streamers. I think it's really like of the top streamers. I doubt there's many that would want to join us. Oh, oh, oh. would well, you guys accept a TikToker? I was thinking about that, but no. I think it's just too far off from <laughs> what I we're into. You know, I heard it's like one of the. Wait, fast- you guys already accept a TikToker? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But a full time TikToker, I don't know. About like that a one. super young TikTok, like sixteen year old TikToker no. with two million TikTok uh, followers. Maybe if they're like cool and older and mature, and they make content that resonates with us, yeah. But if they're like twelve and trying to flex that they think they look cute, it's gonna be a no from me. <laughs> they're, just, they're just trying to get in because they're like, I'm a big fan of Pokey. Actually, I love her TikToks. <laughs> I, I was hoping you could do that by living here. <laughs> Hype oh. House Part 2. 
Oh, wait. I, I got an extension on this. You're making the perfect guy or girl. Minimum age you would accept. Eight, 18? I'd go really? 16. I could say 18. 16? I mean, shouldn't you like... I, I, like, I would like appreciate them to be at like, like kind of like in their 20s, I think. I would prefer that. I, yeah. I just feel like minimum 18. Absolutely minimum 18, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Younger than that, I feel like it would just it would be weird vibes in the house. You would have people that are over a decade apart. Ah, okay, yeah, that, that is. Like that. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be that targeted. No, but for real, I I, I don't know. Unless yeah. they're like insanely mature, it's just hard to manage. Mm-hmm. I mean, Michael even is really yeah. really mature for his age. Michael was super mature. When he told me he was twenty two. Yeah. 20. Three? About to be twenty three this year. Twenty two. Okay, 20, yeah, twenty two. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really surprised because, like, with the glasses, it makes him look older. Mm. Mm. Sometimes I wish Michael would just like be an annoying little shit, but like he's just not. Uh huh. Like he's uh, just too mature. I, I threw in the old, you know, uh oh, poopy stinky. He's just. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you do sometimes. Keep it it's all just humor, you know, in all other aspects. Of who he is as a person, he's really mature. So, God yeah, bless. He's, he's been through a lot of shit. Like I know, like in his eyes, when you look at them in the eyes, like what happened? Like, oh, They're like, dead. Fucking mind, you know. <laughs> okay. So, just find a sixteen-year-old like that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the perfect OTV person so far is a female <laughs> black YouTuber. Do we know a any female fem- person of color? Person of color YouTuber who maybe is involved in other platforms that we are, and yeah. is older than twenty. Yeah, eighteen minimum. Eighteen but older than eighteen, yes. preferably twenty. Very mature. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do we have? They need. We- they need to be mature. Sorry, what? Do we want to add on any other stipulation before we post this flyer up on the internet? Yeah, why? Before Ron posts the tweet. On what? <laughs> Um, what kind of stuff? Relationship status. Would you prefer them to be in a relationship or single? I just want them to be a good time, which sometimes means single. Like some people don't know how to be in a relationship, but also like be a good friend. Oh, or like true. you know want to hang or do stuff or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think it depends on that. But also true. for the shipping means the shipping content. <laughs> yeah, ideally single. Wow. Okay. Okay. Anything else mm. we're missing, guys? No, we can put the flyer up now. Yeah, put the flyer <laughs> up. <laughs> Did you know also, anyone like that? You can't be an artist because we have Lily, so we just uh, we just don't need to. <laughs> yeah, no artist, no musician, no scientist. Mm, no sorry, we're filled. <laughs> no robotics, you know. Um, we got a couple mm. things left. We're just like a makeup guru. Like make a blogger that that would be, those weird. I, I that would be very different. Kind of, yeah, but I feel like it's almost too different. Mm. Like it would be hard for us to relate to someone that has no interest in like gaming, anime, like that sort of thing. I think so. as long as like they're able to create content that's not just makeup, that's no problem. You know, actually, I would actually think it'd, be, it'd be cool to live with someone like that because they'd be like, I don't know. I think it'd be. It'd be really interesting. It's like a, you're clashing with another culture, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. We we got our person. So <laughs> if you don't fit that description, please stop DMing us. And when you do hit that description, <laughs> you can hit us up. Harder. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Um, next topic. OTV has been through many arcs. What is your favorite arc? All right. What? Okay. There, there was like the dawn. This one. This one. This the one. one? Th- this one. I think. I think Pokey likes this one, guys. This one. This one. Uh, We've had some bad times. I agree. I think offline. I'm the most satisfied with offline TV right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And all the difficult times I've been through. And offline TV, <laughs> I, was I was gonna say, Michael, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Fan, <laughs> Michael. Which one did you like? Because you didn't see like ah, the- fair. Oh yeah, there was the there was the shipping era. Were yeah. you watching even then? 
Yeah, yeah, I feel like. I think since, like, the, uh, for a while. Since, like, um, I made, like, the mini golf video, probably, like, a while ago. Oh, wow. wow. With yeah. Mark. Yeah. Yes. That was a while ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How many, like, because a lot of things happen behind the scenes, scenes for the arcs. That's so, what I was going to say. I feel like some arcs may, like, have looked nice. Yeah. But right. uh, behind the scenes, I feel like this one is the most chill, yeah. feels the best, yeah. while also being, like, we're putting out regular content, feels like our community's doing well. So it feels good on both ends, you know, yeah. front-facing and back. And back. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. Oh my! Yeah, God. this one's nice, both because you know, like Pokey said, publicly and privately. I think there was times where we felt pressure to do more, and like felt pressure, like when you when you be bigger, when you expand, when you acquire, and it's like kind of made people feel more disconnected oh. from like what we were doing. Like, but looking back it's like I, I feel like we had to try those things right it's like mm -hmm. we had to know when we like, tried like serialized content yeah. Yeah. I, I think we have all that stuff yeah we had all the similar growing pains that a, a normal like startup would plus extra because like we're in the public view like we're creating mm -hmm. content for people and then like, it's tied to our like personal fucking brands so mm -hmm. yeah we have a we had, like, behind the scenes we had a lot of growing pains through all the arcs like even if they're like good we had tons of growing pains behind the scenes so i think right now we're at the point we're in where like there's like almost there's nothing you know behind uh, no drama behind the scenes we're just trying to slowly uh keep the wheels greased and running and trying to maybe pursue some certain things that we're not uh or we're trying to we're, i think it's, it's, it's a good it's a good, i think it's a good spot i don't know what i just said right there but i think we're we're in a right. good spot. it was overall positive yeah I, I really like the current situation we're in and i i have a lot of hope for the future whereas i think I was talking to Lily about this. I think I was like, oh, "Offline TV is for sure gonna be gonna be dead this year." And then, like after, I'm like, "No, we're good." <laughs> I think Dude, I remember. I mean, I think we can say this now, and if not, we can cut it out. But like right before Michael joined, we were like more or less gonna pack it up and go. Home. Yeah. And then it went like full 180. It was uh -huh. amazing. Oh, that's why we like called Michael like a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> he was like a unicorn that came down and just uh, kept us together. I but now things are really, really know. good. Like mm -hmm. I started go like hang out with you guys, and everything seemed fine. Like before <laughs> I joined, everything seemed like fine. I was like telling Michael, like, "It's fine, fire everywhere." <laughs> it seems good. No, it, it actually like reminds me a lot about when Toast joined. Like, because when you have a new person join, like there's obviously a honeymoon period, but they add a lot to like everything that you don't really turn, tend to respect at the moment like i think michael adds like a really nice like type of like layer to offline tv same with toast you know i remember when toast joined and lily was like but like lily like i remember was like 2k streamer and then toast joined and fucking like toast like kind of elevated a lot of us up, mm -hmm. especially lily right and then michael joined and then all except one person okay i don't really want to talk about that <laughs> If that you was, check I, the streamer charts for everyone in the offline TV circle for like the month I joined, everyone went up by like I think thirty percent minimum, or more, yeah, or more. Like someone was like at eighty percent increase. One person went slightly down, and it was, was Scar. It Scar. It was Scar. <laughs> Wait, we talked about this. It's because um, it's because at the time I was streaming like a ridiculous like twelve hours a day, and then like. I like stopped. Uh, I should stream till midnight, and I was like, I can't fucking do this, right? If I want to try to live with people, I should try to spend more time with them. Mm -hmm. So I remember making a conscious decision. I cut the last three hours of my day out, like nine to twelve. I was like, fuck. Instead this. of twelve hours, he streamed was, nine no. every Aww. single day. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Break. So like, uh, <laughs> I just like, I was like, hang out with people more, and like, it really like I felt a lot better about it, and I felt like it mattered a lot. But like for my stream, like. It was kind of dying. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" But I knew I knew it was worth it. It was worth it for sure. What's the next arc? Do you guys think? Right now, we have kind of the Fed arc. You know, he's popping off on just chatting, top just amazing. chatting streamer, like dominating the Twitch scene. But what's what comes after? Is it uh, Michael, perhaps? Yeah, Michael starts streaming. 
That's the toast moves back into the house art. Mm. And oh, my man, first that, I like that one. Yeah. That's such a good combo. I'm going to get to writing the script, guys. It should be ready in about two to three business days. So just keep your eyes peeled on the emails. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to add like at least two single girls in that arc so that we have like a conflict, you know, romantic conflict. <laughs> two single girls, both for toast. No, 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 no. It's Skara's <laughs> time. Look, I can't believe in, you know, the four years I've been here, Skara has not been in a relationship yet. It blows my mind. What are these Unless... ladies doing? Dude, I'm telling you, Scar could be in a relationship and none of us know. Like, I get it, we live with yes. him, but... And someday he'll show up and be like, well, like, with the ring? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, when are you I got have, married? He's like, I thought I told you guys at last week's meeting. I've not been in a serious relationship in the four years. To, I, to I say, it doesn't I make sense. That with full confidence, it's not like I haven't talked to people, but like when it gets to that final moment, no, I know why. I thought about it for the last couple of I know why. I stand there. TFT? No, it's because League of Legends. For the perfect Elder Scrolls. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, I look for the perfect girl, okay? I want, I want the girl to have a lot of qualities that like I really like to see in people. And when I look at the people that I surround myself with, I'm like, I want them to have the best qualities or similar to like my friends, you know? Yeah. And I realized that's fucking impossible. You guys are suck. You're too good. So like I want oh, that's I just, so like, I want this girl. It's it's actually terrible. It's like I want this this girl to be like as smart as the people I live with, as funny, as ambitious, as fucking good looking. I'm like, God damn, it's never gonna find this person. I swear mm. to God, it's the same problem I had. So nice. And I understand. Like, I'm just like, it's doomed. It's fuck. It's completely fucked. It's not doomed. I think it's just really hard in our industry, especially because I feel like we don't really do. Pardon. Have you seen our friend group, Pokey? Everyone in our friend group is fucking gorgeous. And I'm just like, I, the, my standard I know. is fucking shattered. I, when I went to, I remember I went, I don't know. Uh, whenever I go out of LA or out of mm -hmm. our friend group, this stuff, I'm just, I'm just like, oh. Normal people? Yeah, normal people are like, like, I surround myself with Instagram as well as like our friend group. And they're like, everyone's fucking beautiful. Mm -hmm. And when I go outside, it's like, oh, that's not normal. You know, my normal, my norm, normal state is fucked. So it's all your fault. Everyone, all my friends, all you guys, just you're the problem. It's not me, guys. Okay, let's just collectively be a little bit shittier so that Scar can yeah. get a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, 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 thank all you, right? thank you. Yeah. Scar. I hope you know to see you with somebody within the next having two a flower girl. I'm pretty sure Lily would cry if she wasn't the flower girl. We could both be the flower. No, 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 Lily's gonna play. Yeah, she's a musician. I'm oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy, easy. But keep going. Sorry, you were saying just two years. Two years. We need to find Scar a girl by two years. Sure. Oh, that's no problem. I could do it in two days if I really oh, try. Really? Oh, this, I mean, look, Scar and a girl would make an amazing plot line for offline TV. For sure. real. For real. Because he's the only for one for who real. hasn't, like, really. I Scar is the kind of guy who couldn't take a girl seriously if it was for a plot line. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Scar's perfect. I girl. can imagine him with like in a relationship with a girl that's really ambitious and works behind the scenes for an esports org. That sort of thing. It seems really specific. You do have someone in mind? It sounds like a person you're talking about, Pokey. Anyways, what's the next topic? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't have someone specific in mind. I just know of a lot of girls like that. Oh. Even people like um, Hannah, my agent or my manager, Kirsten, or like Julia, 100 Thieves. A lot of people that work behind the scenes that are really ambitious, understand the industry, but really cool, chill people that would get along with everyone in here. I'm all right. I'm, I don't know. Thoughts? Yeah, you know, that's what I'm, huh? I'm, yeah, oh. I'm just like, ah. Uh, I'll okay. keep my eyes peeled. I'll do that's a little okay. extra networking just for you. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. So here's here's how it's going to work. Like, we're going to have Toast come back. Michael starts streaming. Toast, wow. two new girls. And, but look, we're going to bring the two girls in, one for me and one for Toast, but they're mm -hmm. actually both attracted to Toast. 
And so the the the, the <laughs> script is gonna be like, like I'm getting cucked by toast, and that's gonna play out the rest of the year. <laughs> I've, it's that's it. We don't need. I, I got it. Like next, we got the plot line. Yeah, we okay. can the cuck plot line. The cuck yeah. arc. Yes. The cuck arc. Cuck arc. Cuck arc. Uh, yeah. All right. Got All it. Right. Got it. Uh, next topic. Did your parents teach you about the birds and the bees? No. No. Not mine. Sure. No. But wow. I remember one Asian day parents. being in school. It was like second grade or something, and like people ran around. They're like, "Do you know what sex is?" <laughs> It's like what? <laughs> yeah, my yeah, parents never had that. Yeah, I learned about it through like little sh- social whisperings of like the other kids in school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember specifically in third grade, this kid was like, they were. They said like, I heard the word condom, and I was like, dude, what the fuck is that? And he was like, <laughs> and he was like, dude, it's what you put on your dick when you have sex. And I was like, oh, what sex? <laughs> <laughs> Super. Yeah, my my parents were very shy with me. So, same. I Thinking like back, that. like, how do you explain that? Oh, I, don't how, I don't know how I understood it in second, third, maybe even fourth grade. I don't know. I think you just like build knowledge of it through like, I don't know, media. The internet. The, the internet. Yeah. The yeah. Internet is how it happens. I didn't know anything about it until the ninth grade. I was anything. Like Not anything. 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 Because I think here's the thing. I went to I was I was in Asia for high school, and I mm-hmm. think they teach you that stuff like in Asian tenth grade or something. But in a, <laughs> like North American, they teach you that younger. So when oh, I made the I switch know. over, oh, you never. Got I it. never got the sex like <laughs> oh, talk at God. all. Wow. Okay. So that makes so much sense actually. <laughs> So uh, this might be TMI, but this is how I discovered masturbation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I didn't know I didn't know what masturbation is, and I didn't uh-huh. know like stuff came, came up. <laughs> are, I just are, remember um, it felt nice, like putting my hands near my ding dong, like over my pants. Like, I didn't know, like, mm. masturbate, like, what masturbating is or how to masturbate. But, like, mm-hmm. when my hand is on my, you know, down there, ding it dong? feels ding dong, yes. I remember mm-hmm. watching Will and Grace. And, you know, my hand was just there. Mm-hmm. And then stuff. Will and Grace? Will and Grace. That's old show. What the Oh, okay. Fuck? Like, it wasn't really specific about the content. Like, I was just watching the mm-hmm. show for the show. And, mm-hmm. I, like, my hand was there. And, like, stuff came out. And I was, like, really freaked out. So I was lying on my back and it was like all over my stomach and chest. Oh my god, I can imagine being in that situation being like, do I need to go to a doctor? Or yeah, like I it's like it's not a pee. <laughs> it's kinda of, like it's kinda of sticky. <laughs> I just felt but I felt like I did something wrong. Like, oh no, I can't I t- like this is shame. Like this is shame, right? This is a sin. And then, like, I, you know, I kind of freaked myself out. I felt that is important. Yeah, like since then, like, whenever, like, you know, I felt the need to like touch myself right after, I feel with a lot of shame. I'm like, oh no, toast, you did it again. This is wrong. And like, mm-hmm. I felt like I committed like a crime or anything. And I would like that's so common. Stay away sure. from it. But then the urge overtakes me again. And I would sin oh once more. <laughs> but then the urge overtakes me again. <laughs> I was a young boy. And then you know, as time goes on, I like realized, oh, this is perfectly normal. And no one should it's feel hormones. bad mm-hmm. about it or shame about it's it. It's the hormones. It's the hormones. Mm-hmm. So uh, how'd you guys discover <laughs> masturbation? <laughs> Take it away. No, 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 no. You know, we all discover it in our different and private ways. But the most yeah. important thing is just being educated on mm-hmm. safe sex practices. Mm-hmm. Wrap it before you tap it. And not needing to feel shame. No shame. Just Thanks. education. 
Thanks, Tess. Yeah. As long as you're not doing anything legal and everyone is consenting, then, mm-hmm. you know, have at it. Go nuts. Two people, three people, same gender, different gender, whatever you want. Not even gendered. Not even it gendered. Be an inanimate object. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, as long anything, as it's not illegal. As long as it's not illegal. Uh, is there anything you wish you learned earlier? I guess for me, it's like, I wish I knew that... Stuff came out. Stuff came out, yeah. And that, you know, it's it, it was normal. Like, I shouldn't have felt so bad about doing it. I remember when I learned guys don't have to wipe after peeing. And it felt like the largest injustice in the world in the world dude i mean why do girls have to wipe i don't like like why wouldn't we because what are your hands representing (laughs) 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 go in i want to know it's like it's like like you're playing an eldritch <laughs> I don't really It's un- kind of similar to asking why wouldn't you wipe after pooing? Shouldn't, yeah. Really? But right, like it's, it's very liquid though, right? Poo is kind of like, like diarrhea, sticky. Diarrhea. I mean, you still wipe after diarrhea, right? Yeah, you still wipe after diarrhea. True. But like when I have really liquid diarrhea and sometimes I go mm-hmm. and wipe, there's actually very little stuff there cuz it just comes out like Dude. very fast very yeah, fast yeah but nonetheless like, like you wipe anyways true whether it went further or closer like you still wipe because you know it's it's not like a hole that is pointing outwards and then it goes it's like a hole and it's surrounded by stuff <laughs> like this thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> <I'm in pain. laughs> <laughs> mm, makes sense. As you guys know, I'm uncircumcised from our recent Jackbox game. I, I forgot, but thanks for the reminder. <laughs> didn't That's... remember, but thanks. Yeah, that makes sense. Because sometimes when I pee, you know, the extra skin flaps, mm-hmm. they'll retain Does some. Does it get stuck in there? Like, I guess it's it, kind of yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like that. I don't need that mental image in my head right now. I'm like, I'm like looking at the food I'm about to eat. And then you're thinking about Toast's uncircumcised thing. <laughs> Wait, are you guys yeah. circumcised? Yes. Yes. Like for me, it's like I never realize that the sk- there's a difference. Yeah, there's a difference, and that the skin is supposed to be able to like be peeled, <laughs> like beneath the the what head. What are you doing? <laughs> Like, this is the head, right? And you have your skin here. Like, I never realized uh-huh. the skin can be pulled back to reveal the head. At what age did you find that out? Oh, uh, like 19. Were you, like, amazed? Wow. I was That's like, unlucky. it felt like I was mutilating my own body when I did it. Because it was significantly painful to, like, get it <laughs> over my head. Because it's so big. <laughs> I mean, a little too much about you, Toad. I feel like Easily. this is the story of why we need sex ed, for real. Thank and, like, you. very early on. Yeah. Yeah, we there, there cannot be another Toast in the world. I, agree. I was very yeah. confused, <laughs> man. They didn't teach me anything. Oh, <laughs> but you learned it yourself, and you made it out okay. Eventually. Yeah. Uh, okay. Actually, puberty stories are pretty funny. It's an interesting time to look back on. Yeah. Did you guys ever like lose a dramatic amount of weight over like one summer? Nope. Because no. I was like hella chubby in like the fourth grade probably to the point where i remember one guy in class one day called me fat and i cried <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then i guess he was like i don't know there was like a big fight going on and he like threw a chair i don't remember anything what? aside from that but i went to morocco and then in morocco like you know the whole summer it's like you're visiting family you're having home cooked meals you're going to the beach you're doing all this stuff i came back and i was like a different fucking person that's puberty. <laughs> mm. And then I I don't recall 
any other chubby phases? No, mine was significantly less glamorous than the Morocco skinny phase. <laughs> <laughs> it was more get weird pimples and have hair in my nose. So, <laughs> in yeah. it? do you guys remember like starting to grow hair in your nose? A little bit. And not I that having was it normal. before. I, I think I don't remember when it changed. I remember having like acne, a lot of acne. You know, yeah. and I was, like, not not fun. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember stealing Victoria's Secret magazines out of the mail, and I would, I and I like, I was like, I was too afraid to look at them in my house. So I, I live, I live next to a cane field. So I, I like walked thirty minutes into the cane field and went into the bush, and like, <laughs> that's so through, funny. Through oh lingerie that's magazines. so funny. And then I just fucking left them there. Dude, I, I, I remember fucking downloading, so like, downloading like Playboy magazines or whatever, like LimeWire. Oh, sure. like, 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 LimeWire, wow! Like really far back then, right? And I got like viruses because I would, just, I would just. Oh, yeah. Of course, this is what it says. Dude, it you're is. downloading an image, but it's a dot exe. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'd be like, what is going on? But like all this <laughs> shit pops up. It's a fucking. Bye. Sorry. Oh my god. What a disaster. Dude, uh, I think like my first um like exposure to like sexual things was probably via MTV and their music videos. Oh yeah. And I remember because I love music and I would like watch these and it was like because it's so different, it interests you. And you're like, oh my god, people like being more naked and stuff. What is this? And I would like <laughs> tilt the TV so my parents couldn't see what I'm seeing. <laughs> and I would sit really close so I can close. I can click with the uh... off button whenever they come nearby. <laughs> oh my! God. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like the scariest thing for me is like watching those stuff and like getting caught by your parents walking by. <laughs> I always have my like the L tab ready. Like I'll tell Oh yeah, you're on you're on the alt tab. Yeah, on the alt tab instantly you hear any noise. Actually, uh Limewire reminds me of a funny story. You guys know Soldier Boy? Yeah. Yes. Eh? Yeah. Did you guys know that back in the day when he wasn't famous yet, he was trying to advertise his music, specifically like cranked at Soldier Boy, I think. And so what he would do is he would upload his song under various titles on LimeWire. So he would literally write like Paris Hilton sex tape and it would just be his music. Wait, he's that's genius. genius. The original genius. clickbait. Genius marketing, seriously. Fuck. Yeah, and then that that's song smart. really popped off. Yeah. Huh. So smart. That's good brain. Yeah. All right. Uh next topic is uh dreams like mm-hmm. recurring dreams worst nightmares ever kill someone in a dream and like Ooh. feeling <laughs> i don't think i ever killed someone in a dream but i've been dreaming a lot recently of going back to school i think everyone like will dream about school you too school at or some what? every like couple months i'll always have that stupid ass dream where like i'm i'm like Late to a class exam, yeah. I think bring my Scantron or some shit, something, <laughs> and, and then I think like I'll wake up and I'll be like, I haven't been in school in nine years, ten yeah. years. Why am I worried about calculus or like something stupid like that? Physics. Oh, I wonder if it's God. because like these anxieties are just so like deeply entrenched yep. <laughs> in our yeah. minds and bodies. For me, I think sometimes it's it's like a happy dream though. It's like oh. I'm going back to take some classes um, and like I'm streaming part time and like trying to figure out living on my own. Just like random situations. I remember when I first met you, you were just like, I just love learning. I like, I love studying. I was like, what the fuck? I know. (laughs) I think I just really miss that feeling. And, And like, of course, like you're still accomplishing things in your adult life. But when you're not like actively learning or going to school, like. I, I guess I just missed that satisfaction. That's why I respect Michael a lot. Because he, if he like wants to do something new, he's like, I want, I want, I'm going to learn how to do this. I'm like, damn, learning. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when he makes his videos, he's like typically learning something in order to produce that video. 
Yeah, that's weird because I, I fucking hated school. School school <laughs> environment did not work for me at all. It's better when I do it like on my own, but like in a class, very, very difficult for me. Failed a lot of them. That's weird, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I would dream about like never like having not enough credits. And like mm. being told it's like, oh, you need to like take another year worth of uh, mm. school to make up the credits. And like in my dream, it's always like I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. And then at the end of it, I will always remember, oh, wait, I'm a streamer. I can, I'll just be a streamer and live off being a streamer because, you know, I can make money playing games. But That's it's like so funny. the initial stage is always like, fuck, I'm like seven credits short. I failed this test. Oh, it's, it's okay. I'm a streamer. You're, you're going to be fine. Toast. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Worst nightmare you've ever had. Uh, Any time like a family member dies in my nightmare and like waking up is like, the most relieving thing in the world is like, okay, thank mm-hmm. God they're still alive. So like, I Aww. hate nightmares where like someone dies. Mm. You guys have nightmares? Do you guys ever have that feeling sometimes when something really bad happens in a dream and you're like, wake up, wake up, wake up, and then you wake up? No, I never know it's a dream. Mm. That I've happens never... to me a lot, oddly enough. That's Cool, you can realize that it's a dream. Are you able to like wake up or do, are you sometimes just trapped in there? It's, I, I've never been trapped, luckily. It's usually just like something like this. Like I'll be in a really bad situation and then I don't know, someone will try to like stab me or something and I'll be like, this is a dream. And then I wake up from the dream. Wow. <laughs> it's so hot. Or like if I mess something up and then I'm just like, it's a dream, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking odd i guess maybe my brain just registers like when it's such an obscene situation and then it goes oh it's a dream awakened uh have you ever done that in real life or something <laughs> bad happened and you were like wake up and it didn't work no because nothing like super like uh, nothing super out of the ordinary that's bad has happened does that make sense yeah no knife attacks recently exactly thank yeah. god you know, fingers crossed. Knock on wood. I have no wood nearby. Um, but yeah. And I think also, like, anytime something bad happens romantically, like, if you were to break up with someone and then you, like, dream of getting back together, those are the worst fucking dreams. Because then you wake up and you relive the breakup. Mm. Only me? Never mind. <laughs> uh, uh, really? That's one... never happened to you guys? I was the one who broke up with them and i get over stuff really easily that's just how i am so okay it's more like Big stressful situations are. in the relationship it's usually not about like any breakup it's about like during a relationship stress have you guys ever had sleep paralysis mm, no sort of once yeah how was it Do you have like the hallucinations oh, and shit? not great yeah I don't remember lie. exactly, but it was um. If you guys remember when Janet had that cat that was sick, so Janet, like two years back, was getting a cat, and she was also leaving for vacation at the same time. So I had to watch the cat. Long story short, the cat ended up being very sick from the owner, and it had like a terminal illness. Mm-hmm. And this was the night before mm-hmm. I decided to take it to the hospital. And I was so worried about the cat, like making it through the night that the whole night I would just like wake up, be unable to move, like fall back asleep, be like looking for it. Imagine that the cat is elsewhere, like check, like the whole night was just like a mess. And I just couldn't tell what was real or not as a That's part of that night. Crazy. Yeah. One of my biggest fears is killing someone else's pet. Like killing my own pet. Dude. Like you feel <laughs> obviously like super yes. bad about it, but like but at least it's like your it's your cat. Like pet. you're the yeah. guy who will be most affected. If it's someone and else's guilt to deal with. Yeah. Every time I open the door, I close it immediately. I'm like, if Mimi gets out, fucking twi- <laughs> Twitch CIA is gonna come and kill me. <laughs> I treat Temi like a real person because I know if Temi dies, Lily's probably fucking dead. We got yeah. it. I got it. Got to make sure. Yeah, I'm just like, always very careful with Tim and L. That's really cute. Yeah. Michael, do you, do you have sleep paralysis? I had it every. I had it a lot when I was younger, like in high school. Really? I had it like every week or every two weeks. Like, That's for, so pretty what rarely. was it like? 
it was like it was very scary like the first few times but then at some point it got kind of cool because it was like instantly i realized i'm in sleep paralysis so it's like mm-hmm. kind of like kind of like an out-of-body experience because i can't even move it and i could i like learned how to get out of it pretty easy it's just like move one finger and you get control of the hand and then you get control of everything else oh that's how uh... i did it some people do the foot um but yeah like is it the point where I could like, I was like freaking out for a second and then you get to calm down and you're like, all right, I'm asleep paralysis, whatever. Sometimes I could just like fall back asleep and didn't even come out of it. Hmm. Is I had it for a while for some reason. Then it just stopped happening. Do you hallucinate like Slenderman or like a creepy figure? I only got like auditory hallucinations a couple of times and they, they weren't like super scary. They were like, um, the one I really remember was like laughing and girl girls laughing and like talking. And I, I just thought it was like my sister in the other room. But then I like woke up, realized it was like 4 a.m. No one's awake. And I imagined Whoa. it. I was like, fuck that. And just went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Have you guys gotten more dreams or less dreams as you guys have gotten older? Like for me, like I don't remember m- dreams That's many less. dreams anymore. I feel like it's a lot less for me. Like mm-hmm. I can remember two this year two or three that's it i'm same amount i dream all the time oh my god i don't think i ever told michael or lily this but before you guys like came out that you were dating even to us i had a dream that you guys showed up one day and this is when you know everybody were just roommates i had a dream that you guys showed up and you were just holding hands and you're just like yep So like I dreamt that you guys started dating and then you actually started dating. So yeah, my I'm fucking dreaming all the time. Like if you say something mean to me, I'm gonna dream something bad about you. I just work that way. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I subconscious saw the future. Yeah, like the oracle. Yeah. What the Although the, the signs were there, let's be honest. Yeah, I think the, that's the, why the I dreamt it, because of the signs. You know what I mean? The signs uh, were there. For me, yeah. like, I'm, I'm very dense. So, like, the signs weren't completely there. Like, like this is going to be an origin story. The signs for me, I was like, oh, you know, are they together? No, she's, she's like that with every guy. Okay, well, like, maybe, like, she's every, she's like, like that with, like, every close guy. And then finally, they start holding hands, and they start looking each other in the eyes for extended periods. I'm just like, <laughs> nah. Maybe just really yeah, good. I was like, yeah, okay no maybe this this is a little too much but like <laughs> the other situations i'm like nah should you do that for anyone i'm like oh, okay maybe not that and then i was like okay that they're, they're dating. okay, okay. Mm. what was the first clue for you pokey the first inkling <sighs> the thing is like they had gotten closer over a long period of time so like i had initially noticed them getting closer when i would see stories of like them together but fed not there and mainly because like even though i live in the house scar lives in the house yvonne lives in the house fed is like an insanely social person and if like something's going on like he's usually there so when i started noticing stuff of like just them two and no fed i was like oh Okay. and i feel like it wasn't like romantic at that point so i can't say that that was the sign so it's hard to remember like exactly like the where the romance started because i also don't know mm-hmm. they had just been close for a long time as soon as they locked eyes what about you guys <laughs> oh you know remember that time we played super my super bunny man oh i will never forget that yeah yeah that was good times and then you know Lil was like, yeah, I want to play with Michael. No, no, that, that, that wasn't how it went down. But like, I remember bow, bowing out like a gentleman. Saying, you know what? Let's give yeah. Lily and Michael their, uh, you know, duo time. I remember watching now, that stream. That reminded me of the first sign, which was, we. Uh, I think it was me, Arya, Michael, and Lily were like playing something on the Switch. And then Lily wanted to swap games and she looked at Michael. She was like, can you do it? <laughs> and he did it. And I was like, ah, some shit's going on here. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even remember if this was like before or after I knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like there isn't even like a line probably. Yeah, that was so- those are the best kinds of relationships, in my opinion, where like it's like friends and then it's the slowly developed. Right? Shut up! 
<laughs> yeah. Not where it develops over time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I remember our plan was to be as like obvious as possible. I hold hands a lot. Just like be very obvious about it. So you guys like, did that for one day. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then like and then Scar was like, I'm not totally sure. I don't know if anyone knows. It's like, oh shit. All right. Well, better just fucking tell him. Oh, no, no, I, no, I remember I found out like a couple days before, like one day or like a couple days, and I was just like, I must be one dense motherfucker, like, because I just, I just, I just don't want to jump to conclusions, right? It's really weird for me to jump to conclusions, and I'm just like, okay, you know, like, they're just really good friends who like spending every night together, like, that's fine, it's not a big deal, like, it's not, not, it's cool, oh, you yeah, know? when the sleepover started. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's no problem, of course they say uh, up <laughs> that's not a big deal everyone does it. i'd do that with that too but you know it's not <laughs> oh hey guys what's up hey i'm back <laughs> what do you think she's talking about oh you know what she's talking oh. about she's saying that uh, 20 the uber eats driver to be on the super bowl next can you just year. leave you know, it on the front right? door yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, the, just the code is 3369. Yeah, yeah 3369. You got it. Super okay, Bowl. just leave it there. Oh, yeah, I was explaining yeah, the well. gate, and then I said, yeah, just leave it at the door. <laughs> As you said, leave it at the door. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, who else, you know, uses an actual phone call these days? True. I, I, I only call I, my I, parents, and it's not even through the phone. It's like through an application oh, on the phone. Yeah, only my mom and my brother use the phone. That's it. No one else. Yeah. That and, Uber and like Postmates. Like when I get a phone call, I get anxiety now. It's like it's probably the government or the IRS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. For me, I just never want to pick up because my number was like heavily used by someone else prior to me having it. So I get all of her government calls, debt, uh. dental, insurance, everything. And a lot of text messages about C B D. Cannabis. Yeah something something oh like cbd oil and cbd products oh, yeah, and like yeah. tanisha check out this cbd product tanisha. here <laughs> that's her name yeah yeah all right we're uh, about to hit the one hour mark here no i won't nice. drag this on too much longer but uh once once again thank postmates for sponsoring this podcast we are on a three week sponsor streak Feels and good, man. Our goal is to be sponsored for every podcast forever, so we have as much money as we can. Thank you again, Postmates. Uh, any uh, shout outs or you know things you guys are looking forward to? Words of wisdom you want to impart to our I viewers? would like to say, bless you, Michael. Thank you. Oh, yeah. P Pokey's big on that. I remember like we were in a car and Pokey sneezed. And no one said bless you, and she tweeted, tweeted about it. About she subtweeted right in the car. Because it would be so funny, dude. You guys have seen me. What the fuck? Lily immediately was like, bless you, my queen. <laughs> it was really funny. I think it's just because, like, my chat got me really used to it. Like, when you have, like, thousands of people watching you and you sneeze, there's people that bless you. No questions asked. You're never going to sneeze, and there won't be at least one bless you. So now it's like, I must bless all the sneezes I hear. It's a rule of life. And on that note, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves so y'all are not sneezing. And, you know, sleep a lot, eat good, take care of your immune system, stay at home if you can. And yeah. Yeah, I think uh, hopefully by next week we'll be doing the podcast back in our old setup as I uh, finish moving in. Yay! So, uh, yeah, Yay. look forward to that. Thank you all for watching. Stay healthy, and, and see you guys next week. Bye.